there are times when giving a card just won't do. So for those times when you really want to show someone that you care, try giving a bubbling balloon bouquet. Happy St. Patrick's Day! <gasps> Thank you! Happy Valentine's Day! You make my heart bubble over. Now it's your turn to get your party hats on and make your own bubbling bouquet for a loved one. Add around a tablespoon of baking soda to your bottle. Then pour in some oil. Around two or three inches is good. Add some food colouring. About three drops is good. Now you pour in around one cup of vinegar and quickly stretch the balloon over the mouth of the bottle. Now comes the fun part. The bubbles begin to rise and fall in the oil and the balloon inflated. When the balloon is blown up, you can write your important message on the balloon and present it to the lucky person. Make sure you watch to the end of the video to see why it works because the lucky recipient of the balloon bouquet is probably going to ask you how it works and you could impress them by knowing why. Also, for the best results, mix the ingredients together right before you are going to give the gift. You wouldn't want the bubbles to be all bubbled out by the time you give it to them. So how does the bubbling balloon bouquet work? When you pour in the vinegar, it sinks to the bottom of the bottle. It is more dense than oil. For a great video to understand density, check out our video, The Liquid Tower. The baking soda is at the bottom of the bottle and when the vinegar reaches the bottom, it begins to react with the baking soda and produce carbon dioxide gas bubbles. These bubbles stick to the coloured vinegar and because they are less dense than the oil, they rise through the oil towards the top of the bottle. At the top of the oil, the carbon dioxide is released and continues to rise, which inflates the balloon. Now that the coloured bubbles no longer contain carbon dioxide, they become more dense than the oil and sink back to the bottom of the bottle. So now we have a challenge for you. What happens if? What happens if you add three tablespoons of baking soda instead of one? Or swap out the vinegar and baking soda for water and an Alka-Seltzer tablet. We also think it'll be cool to try adding a glow stick or some glitter. Does it look like a lava lamp? Give one or both of these a try. And in the comment section below, tell us what you find. For another great video on chemical reactions, check out the egg experiment, make an eggshell disappear. So you don't miss any episodes, make sure you subscribe to explore more. This video is dedicated to our dear friend Alex, who we miss very much. We, we miss, miss you. you. Until, Until next time, my friends, explore more.